بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so let's see what are the exactly so as i said if i take any b class example the first address i cannot use we call it as a network address and the last address also we cannot use because we call it as a broadcast address for that network and whatever the addresses in between we can use them so we call them as valid addresses so similar way if you take any b class address the first address is the network address the last is a broadcast and the between are valid and similar way the same thing with the a class also so the first and the last are reserved for network id and the broadcast id and the addresses in between we call them as a valid ip addresses so let's try to understand what is exactly network id and broadcast id here so network id identifies a complete network so generally when we talk about network id it is the first ip of the range so whenever you are writing the first the first address we call it as a network address and how we can identify that we can identify by seeing all zeros in the host portion all zeros in the host portion means if i take any c class example so 192.168.1 1. so in c class there are three network portions and one host portion if i see zero in the host portion that is a network id similar way if i take any b class example uh, in b class there are two network portions so if i say any address let's say 172.10.0.0 now this is a network id okay so because there are two host portions and both are zeros because the first ip always starts with all zeros in the host portion right so similar way if i take any a class example in a class we have three one network and three host and if i see all zeros in the host portion means that is a network address so the first ip of the range now basically this address we call it as a network address and it is reserved for identifying the complete network which means let's say this is my lan and i'm assigning the ip to each and every device like for this device i'm saying 192.168.1.10.1.20.1.30 and also i'm assigning some ip to my router as well 1.1 let's say the interface now these are individual host ips host ip addresses or we can say the valid ip addresses so the valid addresses you can use for any device in the network but if i ask you what is the network you are using here what is the network you are using here because when we do routing concepts we need to advertise our networks we need to tell which network you are using in your lan so that remote lan can talk to each other so that you can communicate with each other so i'm not going to say that i'm using 1.10 here 192.168.1.10 here 192.168.1.20 here 192.168.30 here 192.168.1 here so if you have hundreds of devices how you are going to tell so this complete subnet is identified with one address that is the first address so i'm going to simply say i'm using 192.168.1.0 subnet or the network so this is a network id and this address cannot be assigned to any device in the network so if you try to assign the network address the device is not going to accept if you want you can try like if i go on to my network properties and if i try to assign some address let's say 182.168.1.0 we'll, we'll see submit mask what it is exactly in the next if i click ok you can see the message it clearly tells you that the combination of the ip address and the subnet mask is invalid because the host portion addresses is set to zero which means it's a c class in c class there are three network portions and one host portion and the host portion is zero which means that is a network id and the network id cannot be assigned to any device not only pc if you try on router or any other device it doesn't accept so this is not a valid ip means it's not a valid means we cannot use it because it is reserved for identifying the network so this complete network will be identified as this address the first address so similar way if i try one more example let's say i'll try some b class for verifications 192.168.1.10.1.20.1.30.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
So I'll try to give some address, let's say 172.16 or 126, also any address, 0, 0.0. And if I tell the same thing, it simply, it, if I click OK, then it, it tells you the same thing, right? You see the host portion is set to 0. Because it's a B class address, in B class there are two network portions and two host portions. So the host portions cannot be zeros. But remember one thing, if I write uh, 1.0 or any zero, now this is a valid IP. So it is not a network ID because if you see this address here, this one, it's a B class. In B class, there are two network and two host. Remember, don't think that wherever you see zero that is network wherever there is 255 that is broadcast it's not like that remember all zeros in the host portion you should have all zeros in the host portion then only it is a network idea so here there are two host portions two there is a one here there's no zero if it is zero zero then it is a network idea if it is 255 255 then it is a broadcast idea okay so this is not this is a valid ip because this comes in between if you see the address it comes in between this range if you take any p class example or or a class example similar way if i try any a class example so let me type one address is it a valid ip or not so this is a valid ip why because as per this example this is a class so in a class there is one network portion and three host portions so in order to be the network id this should be zeros right but this is not zero there is a one here so always remember all zeros in the host portion so again that will vary based on the class if it is uh, if it is a c class then make sure that the only first portion let's say 192 1.0 .1 that will be the network id and if it is a b class then two portions should be zeros like there are two host this is a host portion so this should be zero and in B class, there are two host portions. There should be two zeros. And if we are using any C class, uh, sorry, A class, then three should be zeros. Three host portion, then based on this. So depending upon the class, the network IDs, you, you need to identify this way. The network ID is reserved for identifying the network. And we cannot assign this address to any device in the network. So we can only assign the valid IPs, which are in between the network and the broadcast.